Hello, Black Triple O Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a great website called Can You Run It? Can You Run It is a website that basically compares your system specs to the recommended and minimum requirements for popular games around the world and tells you if your computer can handle them. So before I go ahead in this video and show you guys the website, um, I'd like to say I reached 50,000 subscribers the other day. I just wanted to say thank you to all 50,000 of you who have taken the time to subscribe and watch my videos on a weekly basis. Thank you all you guys and you make making videos uh, a pretty awesome experience. Anyways guys, in this video, Can You Run It? So Can You Run It is a popular website in the gaming community. Like I said, it lets you compare your PC hardware specs to games and determine if you can actually run them. So to go ahead and get started on the website, what you want to do is simply pick a game. So go to the website and pick a game. Um, to be honest, the very first game you do doesn't really matter. So we'll do Watch Dogs, for example. Now you have a couple different ways you can kind of get your computer specs loaded to the website. Now what it does is it uses cookies to save your specs on the computer. So what happens is it saves a little file on your computer and the website can read that file and determine your specs. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. You can use it through Java. But for me, it wasn't really working, so I went ahead and downloaded the desktop app instead. It's simply a little file that will upload the files or upload your specs to the to their servers. So you can go ahead and do that. Fire it up, and it will simply detect your hardware. And within about 10 seconds, it should uh, send their information to there, and it will open up their website. You also notice now that it has our system specs loaded into the website for so for me it's a core i7 with a gtx 880 32 gigabytes of ram and microsoft windows 8 professional edition so now if we click continue it'll bring us to our game that we originally selected so for me watch dogs and it's going to tell me if my computer has the minimum and recommended requirements so for me it says congratulations your system passes the recommended requirements and that i should have a great experience running this product you can also go to the bottom here and go to minimum or recommended um, requirements and it will tell you how much it recommends and how much you have. So for example here, it says I have or recommended eight gigs of RAM and I have 32. You can do it many different games. So if you head over to the main Can You Run It page, you'll see that you have your history, which is your previously ran tests and your computer rank, which I'll talk about in a couple minutes. So we can go ahead and pick a different game. So for example, NBA 2K15 here. And you can see that my computer reaches the minimum and recommended requirements for this game. Again, you can go to the bottom here and go through the minimum and recommended requirements and see how your computer compares to both. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is my computer details, which is a cool little thing you can kind of easily found your advanced and standard specs. So standard and basic will pretty much be enough for most people. But if you're super curious, you can go to advanced and you can even see things like driver version, um, version of your windows, you know, your BIOS, company manufacturer and the date, display resolution, software sizes, or sorry, softwares, and also your drives. Which is a bit odd though, because my drive right here, this drive right here is or sorry, this drive number three is actually my OS drive. So it has my drive number one listed as drive one. So which is kind of odd, but the very last thing I'm gonna show you guys though is rank my computer, which is a new beta thing they're having, which is kind of a cool thing. You can kind of see how your computer um, stacks up against others. So you can compare processor, graphics, OS, and memory. So if we go to, for example, for memory here, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So for example here, it says my rank is in the 100th percentile, which means I'm in the top 100 of other people, I guess you could say. And you can go to rank, uh, sorry, out of the worldwide population of 8 million computers, the size of your memory is greater than eight, almost all of them. So I have about 100,000 people, sorry, it's about 10,000 people who have uh, more memory than me who have run on this website. So this is pretty cool though. You can also see um, you know, how much RAM people have. So obviously four gigabytes is pretty much the most popular one. Um, five gigabytes is pretty odd. Um, two and a half is pretty odd as well. 
And there's even some people running with 512, which is probably maybe a phone or just a really low end computer. But you can see the most, obviously the most popular ones are two, four and eight, or just most popular sizes. And 16 also has a good chunk there. If we head over to processor, you can also see how your computer processes um, st stands up to the other ones. So I have a Core i7 third gen, um, it says a category is extreme, but it's a 3930K, so it's not the actually extreme edition. And you also can see where my CPU stands up against the other ones. So it's a pretty cool little thing you can do with your CPU, and you can see where it stands up against other people who have run this test, which is a lot of people. And of course, you can switch over to AMD as well. Anyways, guys, though, that's it for this website. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, though, this is a great way to try out a game not only try out a game, but compare your computer to a game before you go ahead and buy the game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for all the support and reaching 50,000 subscribers. Like I said, that's pretty amazing. So thank all of you guys for all the support. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.